Oh, there's another one. Oh gosh, that's a crappie. Oh, it's a it's a big one. It's a huge crappie. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and to Jimmy Houston's ranch. Again. So we're here for one more morning. I've got to get back. I thought while I'm here, let's try to snatch some crappies. We've had some glimpses of some awesomeness, some beautiful black crappie, yet to catch a white crappie out of here. But I've heard from multiple people now uh, that they have caught three pounders here personally. And Jimmy told me that he's had quite a few people ha catch their PBs out here. And I'm pretty sure I did for a black crappie. That was my black crappie PB uh, the other day. But I want to see if I can try to get one of those three pounders. And the lake we fished yesterday, amazing time with Jimmy, y'all. Just, uh, man, it was just one of those like lifetime memory type deals anyways i'm gonna go back out to that lake and try to fish that grass line where we did catch a couple of crappie uh, and maybe move out to some trees but it seems like the crappie are hanging in that grass kind of in a tough fishing situation before they really move up and start spawning and it gets crazy we're gonna break out the spinning tackle i'm probably gonna break out a jerk bait as well maybe some small shad type stuff with some jig heads because we're trying to go for big ones. We don't just need to throw little tiny crappie jigs, but we might have to today since uh, they're being a little fickle. Before we get started today, I just want to give a shout out to Mercury Motors powering us through. Uh, if you want to check out any of their small to big engine systems, link down below. Now let's get out to the water and try to get us a big old dinner plate. Oh, y'all, there is a gobbler, a turkey, just running this fence right now. Look at this little, little gobble gooker. Woo, he's fast. White tail over here. I'll fish this morning on Jimmy Houston Lake. It's a good time. Okay, y'all, we're on the lake. We're gonna put on a crappie jig and we're gonna see if we can get some crappie in the grass. This is different than most situations I've crappie fished before. Catching them in uh, just shallow banks or trees. Uh, in the grass is definitely different for me. So uh, what Jimmy was explaining was these fish were moving up to spawn the other day. They were staging up and they caught like 80 out of one little pocket. And when we went out yesterday, there was nothing in there. And those fish had just pushed out and they're, they're just riding this front out. We don't have exactly a bluebird today. It's pretty bad, but we still have some clouds. These fish are probably gonna be buried in the grass and just hold up waiting for those conditions to get right and by conditions i mean the water temp and right now it's 55 it really needs to get to 60 for them to to really start getting in there and going ham so i am going to you know put me on one of these little sickle tails right here these little sickle tail um baby shads right here um big fan of live magic shads I, I use all different kinds of crappie jig trailers, but uh, I like these these little sickle tails sometimes where you can swim it. So simple jig head, 16th ounce. We may have to bump up if it gets a little windier. Uh, just kind of as a search bait. This is how it happened yesterday. I caught them on a swim bait. I'm gonna throw jerk bait. Jerk bait. Crappie love jerk baits something about that bait sitting there for an extended period of time they really like that and i'm probably going to catch a few bass doing this as well but i want to try to locate a crappie once i do we'll pull down stay put and then we'll try to hammer hammer out a couple bigs but i could get a big one on the jerk bait You guys can see this this grass on the live scope it is really thick but there are some edges and these crappie are probably going to be on one of these sharp edges out here mm, there's one. Oh my gosh that's a big fish maybe 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it came off. That was so big. That was scary. That was a, uh, that was a big bass. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. Uh, that was a big bass. That took me for a ride. Got me hung in the grass. The way Jimmy's got these lakes laid out is ideally what I would want too. Just crappie, big bass, and big crappie. And they're living in some of the same areas. another one and that's a big one too that's a big bass <sighs> Woof. jeez the other one was much bigger than this <clears throat> it's a good way to start the crappie fishing morning though I like that Come here, you big, big bugger. Oh my. There's a nice one. <laughs> it's like a five pounder, y'all. What a beauty. That's a nice fish. Big old bass starting out the morning crappie fishing. Gotta love it. Whew. Awesome. See ya. That other one I had on was just an absolute tank. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try a crappie jig right here. I just saw one on my live scope that was chasing it. It's either a small bass or a crappie. Whoo, and the wind is nipply. Oh, one's coming. Come on, got him. Oh my gosh, micro bass. Never mind. Holy cow, Jimmy, you got some, you got some little micros. See you, dude. <clears throat> mm, there we go. Come here, here in the grass. Not quite a crappie. Okay, see ya. Okay, so far, <clears throat> got a few bass, a couple of larges, no crops. So, um, you know, could catch a tip. It's really, <laughs> it's difficult because I know there's 10 pound bass in here and they're pre spawn right now and super fat. And I could catch them on a jerk bait right here. I really did have a big one on earlier. Got a big old largey. Oh, that's when you know. That's when you know they want a jerk bait, ladies and gentlemen. Holy schmoles. Easy release. Smashing all my barbs down here for, for Jimmy's place. I love the idea of that. I'll be honest with you, I'm torn right now. The chance at a 10 pound bass, it's here. A higher chance though, is that a three pound crappie? They're gonna be on one of these grass edges. That one is loaded with bass. It really makes sense because that is a, that is a, a old pond where those bass are going into spawn and we caught them in there yesterday for Jimmy's show. And it's cooled down I mean, it's in the forties right now. Those fish have pulled out. They're waiting to go back in there sitting on a grass line. Come on, be a crappie. Nope. You're a daggum basser. You're one of the daggum rascal basses. You look about crappie size, but you're not. See you there, buddy. Yeah. 
Yep, there's one. This is a crappie. This is a crappie. There we go. Black crappie time. Not a big one. Just a gorgeous one. Gorgeous. Where's that hammer at? Come on, big. There's one. It's bass. One of them daggum bass. You can get off. It's always the ones you want to get off that don't get off. There we go. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I wanted to try this. This is the perfect place to do it. And it's just a, like a beefed up version. So we're going beefed, <laughs> beefed up crappie tackle here today. So I'm going to grab my, my finesse rod right here. This is normally what I would use for shaky heading and, uh, you know, small jig head type stuff, Ned rigs, whatever. And I'm going to grab, and I'm going to get this box out. This is like my finesse spotted bass, small mouth, tough, large mouth, clear water box. I've got little neds and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to take one of these 3.3 inch saucies and I'm going to put that on a little jig head, like a little quarter ounce or something. Something with a small hook, kind of. Maybe one of these bad boys right here. I just want something that doesn't have a big hook on it. And that looks to be about perfect. Okay, we'll try that. Thread this through. A swim head would be better, but we're gonna give that a shot. See if the crappie can get that in their mouth. It's looking supreme. We're gonna try to get back on these little crappies here. I think they're just so far buried in the grass, it's gonna make it make it tough to see them with any kind of live scope or anything. That was a crappie. Just plinked it. Oh, trying to get it. That crappie's trying to get it right now. It's a little too big for his for his face. <laughs> we'll throw this crappie dude out there and see if we can get him. That, that was a good hard thump though. Oh, that one got it. Mm, this has to be a bass. And it is. Down there deep on that grass line. Not a crappie. If it was, it would be my PB. Come here, little sugar bagger. Okay. See ya. Mm -mm -mm. Big crappie, there we go. Crappie on the swim beats. Yeah, it's just a nice, beautiful, golden black crappie. Look at that beautiful eye. I will have you tattooed on my arm at some point. Okay, I love you. I love you so much. Okay, first one on the swim bait. And that was awesome. I want more of that. I want more of that. I want a three pounder slam a swim bait. How cool is that? Come on, big girl, slurp it on in. You know, they're super colored up right now too with, uh, with the spawn being just around the corner. And uh, there's another one. There we go. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we getting them, and that one slurped it. I'll let him have it. Let him have it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, you are a tasty little treat. Tasty little treat, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Love to see you in the morning sunrise. 
So this is definitely different for me, guys. I'm normally looking at crappie and brush piles or, you know, suspend it over a rock or around docks or something like that. But uh, catching them in the grass is different. I've, I've seen it done, but it's just, um, you know, it's hard to look at them with the electronics. You just kind of have to catch one and there's another one. That's a bass. Bass mixed in. A little extra fun. A little extra fun times here. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's got to be a bass. Yeah, I think so. I think it is. If not, it's a magnum crappie. Oh yeah, it's a big, big one. Just one of them big green devils. Oh yeah. Oof, man. Come here, four pounder or so. Oh man, I don't, I don't mind catching you. <laughs> I mean, I really don't. I really don't. Healthy butt. Big old healthy butt. See ya. Crop, crop lock. Oh, dang God, lost him. Wasn't a giant, but there's just a lot of those 12 to 13s right here. Man, they're just not, they're not in one tight pod having a fan cast over this little grassy flat area oh there's another one. Oh gosh that's a crappie oh it's a it's a big one it's a huge crappie oh yeah baby oh yeah baby that's a monster no no i lost it oh my god oh geez oh my gosh that was a freaking giant oh Oh, that was freaking huge. That was probably my PB. Holy cow. That, yeah, that thing was in the twos for sure. Maybe mid to high twos. Oh my gosh, that thing hit it like a five pound bass. Oh boy. That was the one. There's another one. Oh, little one. It's a little runner, dad gum. Ah, oh, you know, catch the, catch the little one. <laughs> so I'm using a barbless hook here, guys. But oh man! All right, now that the sun is popping out, I can see a little something right here. Might be holding these crops. Oh yeah crappie in the tree and that's a good one that is a good one not quite as big as that hammer it's a good one love to see it There we go. Crappie time. Okay, there's a pattern developing now. These trees that are on the flats. Oh gosh, hammered right there. Right in the middle of that tree. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this jig and just pitch it at this tree a couple times. Let's see if we can get the big mama hiding in there.
Got him. Right in the middle. And that's a big one. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Big girl. Come on, big girl. Get up in here. Oh. Oh, you're so beautiful. Lovely. Mm, 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 mm. That's a nice one there, y'all. Shoe baby. What a gorgeous, healthy fish, man. Healthy fish. That's probably about a 15 incher. Not my biggest. We'll let it go. See you, big girl. Let's just see if we can get another one out of this tree. Got him. Come here, biggin. Come on. It's about the same. Just a nice one. I got a feeling. There's a big one in there. Oof, beautiful. There's one. Oh my. Gotta be a bass. The old green one. Come here. That fish has been caught before recently. Okay. See you, girl. Boy, whatever you are. Mm. Here we go. Big crop. Big crop. Come on. Come on, baby. Get up in here, big and yes. That's a mega flopper. Oh my gosh. Right, easy, 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 easy. Calm down, I know. You're so excited. Isolated stump. Big and Holy spittoons. <laughs> That's a nice one right there, y'all. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, you smell so sweet. Oh. Oh my gosh, I just found the school. This is the school. Suspended open water. See this school of crappie right there, guys. Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's bass. Or is it? No, it's a big white crappie. Oh my gosh, it's a big. It, this this is a school of the big white crappies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There could be a giant in here. Holy cow! Come here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's another black crappie. It's just light colored. And he had it. Oh my gosh, I gotta stay on that school. That was the school, man. They were on the move. They were just suspended, open water. Oh, there's another just stud. I can see that school suspended down there and they're just hovering out over this point. And as soon as I I hooked that one, the school just scattered. They weren't on anything, they were just open water. Come here, you hammer. Come here. Not a giant, but another crop. Had an awesome morning crappie fishing, y'all. 
I, I let those fish go. It ended up being a 15 incher and a 16 incher. <sighs> Lost a giant. I'm gonna have to beg Jimmy to come back. Come on, Jimmy, let me come back. I, I don't know how big that crappie was, y'all, but it was a magnum. But throwing the swim baits, uh, that is a new technique that I haven't done for crappie. I thought I'd break it out today and it proved to be very useful. I mean, obviously it caught bass on it too. Uh, throwing a little swim bait on a jig head like that, it catches a lot of different species. But if you're trying to go for a bigger crappie, target some bigger ones, it is a good thing to throw. And what I really like about it is I could get a lot of distance in my casting and fish in the grass, which is something I've never done before for crappie. I could keep that bait in that zone just above the grass a lot easier than throwing a little like 16th or an eighth ounce crappie jig. And you could just get so much more distance, cover more water. So using that quarter ounce, I need to play around with the jig heads. This is just like a net head style, but um, the hook was okay. Um, but I need to find the perfect little jig head for doing this. But I'm definitely gonna keep this in my arsenal for fishing for crappies in lakes that, uh, that have big ones and use that to target long areas when they're spread out uh, or just pitch to trees where I know some big ones are hanging. It's a lot easier for me coming from you know bass fishing background just pick that up and I can target cast really 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 easily with it so any of y'all there the bass fishermen want to try that out for crappie give it a shot but I just gotta just gotta enjoy the experience I had out here today and man I want to come back so bad so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed watching today make sure to subscribe here to the channel because we're almost at a million subs y'all and you gotta smash it for big old crappies i love you god bless you and i'll see you soon